Hey guys, Chris Rutz here with UnitedMarketingSystem.com. Okay, so now what we're going to do, now that we have our WordPress blog uploaded onto our own hosting account, we went ahead and we changed the permalinks to get more of an SEO URL domain, uh, keyword, keyword rich domain, and we've updated our ping list. So the next thing to do now is to install the plugins. And plugins for is what makes an SEO, uh, an SEO WordPress blog very, very powerful because plugins will basically do the work of which a lot of coding and a lot of um, knowledge of how to code used to do in the past, okay? You just install these plugins, you basically do a little bit of configuring to your likings and we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go step by step for each plugin and show you what I do to configure it for my sites, okay? And you get an idea how it works, it's really, really simple. Uh, so if you go to my blog, www.unitedmarketingsystem.com and you come down here to the bottom where it has the training topics I have a the must-have plugins training that's what we're going to talk about right now these are the plugins that I recommend you use when starting off with an, uh, a brand new WordPress site or if you have an existing WordPress site and you don't have these um, plugins I recommend you get them so in order uh, of importance for the I just believe in, in the SEO, if you're going to do any SEO on your blog, uh, you've got to have at least these two. So one of them is called the Google XML Sitemaps, and basically what that does is it creates just what it is, a map, like a roadmap of your, of your website. So when Google bots or any of the search engine bots come and crawl your site, they're going to look for this sitemap, and, and that sitemap is going to basically give them directions on your entire website, how it's structured, all your links, your pages, all that good stuff. Just to give you a quick example, if I went to my site map here, if Google was to crawl this, marketingsystem.com forward slash sitemap.xml. So Google will come here and it gives all the links and sets priorities per those links. So Google will see all the links that are on my site at the time of this video and it knows pretty much the structure and layout of my site, so it's very important. And then we're also going to link this to our webmaster Google account, and we'll show that in a separate video as well. And that's going to help you get indexed quicker with Google, and also collect some, some, some important stats as well. And then the next one is the all-in-one the all SEO pack. This one's huge, guys. This is a must-have. This, And we'll have a video, a separate video on that as well, on how to configure that. But that's basically going to take care of everything we've talked about before on the um, on-page, off-page optimization. There was a, some key things that we talked about and um, it will take care of all these on-page optimizations for you that uh, you don't have to worry about coding into the meta tags or the title tags or header tags. It takes care of all that for you, so it's really, really powerful. Um, let's go back into the core must-haves. And uh, that's pretty much it for the SEO part of it. Uh, social plugins, guys. Obviously, this is a very social world. Google's very social, social-centric. Okay, so it's definitely the wave of the future, and so we gotta have social plugins here. So what these are is WWSGD is what would Seth Gordon do, and basically that's a RSS feed that when new visitors come to your site, they have the option to subscribe to your RSS feed, so they can get them on their iPods or their iPhones or wherever they can, you know, get their feeds from. Uh, Google Plus One Button Automator. I don't know if you guys have seen that lately, but uh, you know, when you search on Google, if you're logged into a Google account, let's just search for WordPress, whatever, you'll see these little plus ones here, right? Next to the websites. That means you can actually, it's kind of like casting a vote for that site with your Google account. And so, Pete, and it gives a, you know, Google, this is a brand new thing that Google came out with. So you want to have that too, so people can cast votes in, on the Google plus one button. Uh, share this. This is a, another great um, plugin. It, it allows people to, share your site on Dig, Delicious, Facebook, Twitter, you name it, it's pretty much got them all covered and we'll cover that in the video as well. Facebook social plugin, that's another huge one you wanna do. This is going to be able to link the blog to your Facebook, so now you're having social media here. So like, here's my Facebook fan page that I'm able to incorporate onto my blog here and every time I update my blog or if I wanna send people you know, updated information, I can just post here and have them you know, follow it right here and my people can join my fan page right on from my, my blog here. So that's really powerful as well. Interlinking plugin, it's not so much of a social plugin, but it's more of a plugin that will um, take your articles and your posts and what Google likes to see on an SEO, uh, SEO campaign, or SEO optimized website, is it likes to see uh, page structures 
and interlinking within the page. They want to see all the links to your home page or your money page. Google likes to see, you know, a diversity of, of links going back and forth between pages too. So relative content links up with relative content on your site. And so this interlinking plugin will do that for you. I'll show you how that works. Um, actually, it's supposed to be a title, but the interlinking plugin is the contextual related posts. And so I'll fix it on my blog after the video. Um, RSS feed plugins, again, this is, um, it, it's in conjunction with the uh, Seth Gordon and all that good stuff, but what it does is it includes, a in normal RSS feeds, basically it's just containing your posts. Now, if you do like websites like I do, or, you know, like informational product sites where I have multiple pages, where I have like a contact page and a product review page and a, you know, maybe recorded calls or webinar page, stuff like that, we have multiple pages, that doesn't get picked up in the RSS feed. With this plugin, it allows both posts and pages to be included into your RSS feed. Now, you may not want all your pages included, but that's up to you how you want to, you know, modify that. And then the last important thing with SEO optimization that a lot of people overlook, even the experienced SEOers out there, though they know about it, but they don't really teach too much about it, is um, Google has come out and said that load time does affect your rankings. Um, the optimal site should load under eight seconds, okay? And we're trying to shoot for something close to four seconds, okay? Because it's been shown through studies that Google's performed that if any site loads over eight seconds, generally people don't even stick around. They close out the website and they go somewhere else. So Google doesn't want to clutter up their search engine results because their goal is to provide the best results for the term people are searching for. And they don't want crappy sites coming up that are taking forever to load because that's, that's not the product they want to deliver. So they, they do kind of cap that off. So there's ways to speed up your site, to optimize it, to make sure that it's running smooth and you're not, you don't have a lot of baggage on it, if you will. So W3 Total Cash. Guys, this thing is a freaking beast, okay? I've created a, a, a whole document. So basically what you're looking at right here, all these three here, Total Cash, uh, database manager, which just backs up your database, also cleans up your database too on a schedule, and, you can, and we'll show you that in the video. Smush it and Google libraries. I put that all here because it's a, it's pretty in depth on how to get the um, SEO, especially this one here, the total cache uh, configured properly. And so this is um, it's all putting down here on a uh, a PDF file that you can download from my page. Talks about the the database manager how to set that up then we talk about we can go you know, so a database here and then continue on and the smush this is basically takes any images that you put on your website and it pretty much re, it, it smush it optimizes the uh, the file size without losing um, you know image quality it's really great because I can put in headers that are you know typically 200k and that thing will smush it down to, to just maybe 30 40k and every bit helps with load time speeds you know you don't want to be loading big files if you don't need to, if it's not going to hurt your quality. And Google Libraries is another great thing here. And this just basically goes out and uses some of the Google servers for common uh, WordPress scripts and JavaScripts and whatnot. So you don't have to do that from your own hosting account. So that's um, all explained here as well. And we'll show you how to configure all those in a uh, separate video. But that's it for now, guys. These are, these are my recommendations for, for the core, the core plugins i highly recommend not to get addicted to plugins guys because there's a plugin for everything out there. there's a plugin for i mean just name it you'll find it don't put unnecessary plugins on your site guys because every plugin you put on your site is a little bit slower your site's going to run because it's got to call up another script it's got to call up another function when it loads up so i would stick to these for now until you really know what you're doing what you really want out there and go for it all right so Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into these individually and learn how to configure these properly so we can start ranking on the SEO search engines.